Hello everyone and welcome back to The Perfect French with Dylan. Today we are going to see a very complicated subject for French learners, the differences between c'est and il est. They both can mean it is, this is, he is. So I understand why it's complicated on top of the masculine, feminine following it. It's a bit of a mess but we are going to see everything about it today including grammar, then we are going to learn everything about c'est, everything about il est, and then some exception as usual in French. If you want to pass some subject and go from one to the other, all the timings are in the description box. All right, let's start with the grammar. So c'est, the plural is ce sont, ce sont. So it's possible that what we are going to see today will be plural if you see it in a book or anything else. Today we focus on c'est, but it's possible that it's going to appear sometimes to you as ce sont. The second one, il est, can also be elle est, she is, or ils sont, they are, elles sont, they are. So today, like I said, we are going to focus exclusively on c'est and il est. But the important thing here is that c'est doesn't change with gender. It only change with numbers. And then we have il est, which can be masculin singulier, singulier féminin, and then masculin pluriel, féminin pluriel. But like I say, we are going to focus only on se and il est. So let's start with se. We have two very specific uses for se. The first one, for person and things, and the second one is for opinions. So for the first one, it's going to be se plus an article plus a masculine noun, or se plus an article plus a feminine noun, with or without an adjective. And for opinion, we are going to have only se plus adjective. That's it. So if you look at se plus a masculine thing, se un vase. So we have se plus an article plus a masculine noun. Se un vase. It's a vase. Se un beau vase. Se un beau vase. It's a beautiful vase. Now if we see se with a masculine person. C'est mon frère, c'est mon frère, it's my brother, or c'est mon petit frère, if we add an adjective. C'est mon petit frère, it's my little brother. So that was for the masculine part. Now if we have a look at the feminine thing, we are going to have c'est une, une, link, c'est une fleur. C'est une fleur. It's a flower. Or, with an adjective, c'est une jolie fleur. C'est une jolie fleur. It's a pretty flower. And finally, with a feminine person, so we saw c'est mon frère, now we are going to see c'est ma soeur. C'est ma soeur. It's my sister. Or, with an adjective, C'est ma grande sœur. C'est ma grande sœur. It's my older sister. So that was to talk about things and person. Now if we want to express our opinions, we are only going to use c'est plus an adjective. So we don't have article and noun. Nothing like that. Only c'est plus an adjective. So we have c'est beau. C'est beau. So if someone shows you something, you can say, oh, c'est beau. C'est beau. It's beautiful. C'est bien. It's good. C'est bien. Or, c'est bon, which also means it's good. If you have trouble between bon and bien, I have three videos that cover everything about it. I will put them in the description box. Another one, c'est super. C'est super. It's great. Two more. C'est magnifique. C'est magnifique. It's wonderful. C'est incroyable. C'est incroyable. It's incredible. So that's it for c'est. Now if you have a look at il est. And we're going to see exactly the same thing that we just saw with c'est. So we saw c'est plus an adjective. Now we are going to see il est plus an adjective. And we use this kind of sentence to describe something. So not really to give an opinion, but to describe it. Okay? The difference is very, very tiny, but with practice, 
you will get it right. So the first one, il est beau. So we just saw c'est beau, which was it's beautiful, or we can have il est beau, il est beau, which is more he is beautiful. Then we have il est incroyable, il est incroyable, he is incredible, or il est ennuyant, il est ennuyant. Is annoying. So maybe you already understood, but when we use il est, it's most likely going to be with person. So if we say c'est beau, it can be the landscape, it can be a drawing, it can be anything. But if we say il est beau, it's most likely going to be a person or a dog or something. Il est beau. Now on to the exception. We have two main exceptions which are jobs and nationalities. We are going to start with jobs. So we have two ways that we can talk about our job with se and il est. With se, we are going to have se plus an article, plus maybe an adjective, plus the job. And with il est, we are going to have il est plus the job right away. So let's see with lawyer. C'est un avocat. C'est un un avocat. He is a lawyer. If you remember the beginning of the lesson, I said that with c'est, it can also be for a woman. So, c'est une excellente avocate. C'est une excellente avocate. She is an excellent lawyer. Another way that you can use is il est avocat. Il est avocat. He is a lawyer as well. So the main difference here is that we say we describe the job they have and we can also describe how good they are, how bad they are, etc. So c'est une excellente avocate. But if we take il est, we cannot say il est excellent avocat. We can't say that. We can just say il est avocat. Hope that makes sense. We're going to see another one. C'est un bon mécanicien. C'est un bon mécanicien. He's a good mechanic. Or, with a feminine one, c'est une mécanicienne. C'est une mécanicienne. She is a mechanic. Or you can say, il est mécanicien. Il est mécanicien. So that was for the jobs. It's going to be exactly the same for nationalities. It's also going to be se plus an article, which is usually un, une, and nationality, or il est plus nationality. Let's start with the Belgian. So we have c'est un Belge. C'est un Belge. Or you can say c'est une Belge. C'est une Belge. And finally, il est Belge. Il est Belge. So if you see, there's a tiny, tiny difference here at Belge. So Belge, 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 only the last one doesn't have a capital letter. When we use it, il est Belge, or il est Français, il est Autrichien, etc., we're not putting a capital letter. Only when it's really preceded by an article. Just remember that. Let's see another one for the nationality. So we have, c'est un Canadien. C'est un Canadien. He's Canadian. C'est une Canadienne. C'est une Canadienne. Il est Canadien. Il est Canadien. He's Canadian. I know it's a very complicated subject, so don't forget to get your PDF to keep it and review when you have questions about it, because I'm sure you will have. Don't forget to practice. With practice, you will get it right. You can leave me a comment if you have a question. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you liked it. And I will see you soon for another lesson.